Okay, here is the third script, and uh, this is a very simple script and uh, demonstrates uh, a couple other concepts around uh, bival and byref. First, you know, the function here at the bottom, line 25 to 29, I don't have byref or byval. By default, if you do not specify, you know, or do not use a keyword, by valor by ref it is automatically treated as by ref that's a default behavior when it comes to of functions and subs next i have three variables declared num1 and num2 and i have result then i have my num is equal to 5 and my num2 is equal to 7 and this is the add number so it is taking two numbers adding the numbers you know add numbers equal to num1 plus num2 because the function name is you know this add numbers two is same as the function name so this function would return uh, the total of two numbers so I'm doing that here in line 26 and then I'm saying num1 equal to um, you know five ones and num2 equal to five twos so since I'm passing it by reference, I'm hoping that when I print, uh, see on line 21 says the result is, the result should be 5 plus 7, which would be 12. And then in M2, which is, I'm saying line 22, it would be my num1, which is here, right? My num1 equal to my num1 here. So technically, it should be printing 5 and 7 there, right? So let's run the script and then understand exactly how byref is impacting these variables or arguments so it says m1 result is 12 which you know is as expected 5 plus 7 is 12 and look here it says my num equal to all ones and my num2 is equal to all twos and that is i mean the, i mean to say the reason for this is the function by default the arguments are treated as by ref by default if you don't even though you don't declare it and then you pass those by you know values as by ref and you know you updated these values that's the reason why my num1 and my num2 got changed the value but as you know when you use parentheses it's treated as by well but here it's a parameter list so when you use a parameter list for a function you need parentheses parentheses required that's the reason why it has no impact but let's say for example with num1 i'm going to add parentheses just for that uh, parameter num1 so that is not a required parenthesis when you add that what happens is that parameter will be treated as by well so now this is by well and this is by ref so num1 that means this value will never get changed means that means this should be 5 my num equal to 1 so that should be 5 but my but my num2 will be all twos so let's run the script real quick so m1 the result is 12 which we know so uh, 5 plus 7 is 12 and that's what this function is returning okay here m2 here it says my num equal to 5 because we this went in as by val but my num2 is all twos because that went in as what by ref now take a look at this instead of changing here if i do this as by val now both the values are by val now let me demonstrate that for you 12, 5, and 7. So either you change it here or here again. You know, this all depends on your need. So that's a little uh, thing around parentheses and how by val and by ref kind of impacts the values uh, in first the actual variable values. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next script. All 
Okay, in this script we'll look at uh, a class real quick um, and uh, we're not getting deep into classes here uh, and methods but just to demonstrate uh, the kind of impact it has when you use by ref that's what I'm trying to get to here so primarily if you're working with a variable uh, that is inside a class and then you know it doesn't matter whether you pass it as by val or by ref it's always treated as a by ref sorry by val it's always treated as by val so here uh, if you look at it here there's a class and uh, there's a property declared my student ID and then there is a, um, a function here that says change student ID and we are using by ref and you're passing ID and then ID we are changing it to all fives and here the statements are dims you know student one and we're saying set student one equal to new student uh, we are making a, an instance of this class so it's almost like you know you have a car and then you say uh, a Benz you know Benz is just you know one of the cars so a card is actually a blueprint of car, but Benz is just uh, uh, one of the types of car. It's a type of a car. Same way, this is a class. Student one is just is uh, is a one of the students or a type of a student. Student one. So student one dot my student ID because that's a property. You are setting it to all ones, and then we are saying change student ID, and we are passing that this particular variable or property. So uh, technically, uh, the value of uh, the student one dot my student ID should have changed uh, in a regular situation, because we are passing uh, the argument using the keyword by ref and changing the value, but it's not impacting because the variable itself is part of the class. So when you try to use by ref uh, on the you know properties or variables that are part of a class then it is always treated as by val so a couple of things around by val by ref and uh, you know you can take this to your advantage depending on your situation okay well that's it about by val and by ref